Hello folks, Matt Peterson, trainer at Pragmatic Works here, and what I want to bring to you in this week's video is something that came up during a virtual mentoring session I had at Pragmatic Works with a customer, and what she wanted to do was be able to allow users to edit records from a SharePoint list, and on those records she has the option to allow attachments. But her requirement was if the record had already been created, when we go to edit the record, they don't want them to be able to delete the attachments, but upload attachments. So the first thing I thought is, well, let's just get rid of the attachment delete icon and get rid of it and then no one can click on it. However, there is not that option in Canvas apps. So I had to do a little bit of thinking to figure this out. I didn't find much documentation out on the web. So if you've had this issue, uh, take a look as how we can make sure that users can edit a record, add attachments to the record, but not delete those attachments. So let's go check it out. All right, so what you can see here is I just have a Canvas application. Uh, if I play my application, we can see that I can select different records. They have files attached to them. We can attach files. I can technically at this point delete files, but that's the one thing that we wanted to fix. How can I not delete a file? Well, unfortunately, there is no way currently in Canvas apps just to get rid of that delete icon uh, that's uh, attached to these files themselves. So here is how I came up with the solution. Now when I came up with the solution, I first came up with one solution that worked, but it only worked if you were allowed to have just one file at a time for your attachments. I used some basic logic of doing an update context variable that said, hey, when you click this button, I'm gonna change the variable uh, from false to true. And then on my save button, I said, if the variable is equal to true, then the save button cannot be clicked. And then if we uncheck it, it would then change the context back to false. But the problem became is that there was multiple records that people could be clicking on, changing the variable names, and it didn't satisfy the whole operation. So here's how we do the official fix if you have multiple files. So the first thing that I'm going to do is on this screen, I'm going to have a variable that controls this. So on this screen, I'm going to go to its on start proper or on visible property, and I'm going to set a variable. And this variable is what's going to control our save button from being disabled. So I'm going to say set. I'm going to call it something like var disable save, and I'm going to give it a value of zero to start with. All right. So that's going to be the first thing. Now for testing purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a text label on my screen here just so we can see it working. I always like to do this when testing out variable values. Uh, so I'm gonna call this the disable save value. Again, this is not required, but it's gonna be good for our testing purposes. And we're gonna bring back the set var, and we wanna bring back the var set. Oh, come on here. Let me bring this back up here. So and, tab it over, var. There it goes, var disable save. All right, so right now you see that there is no number. So for testing purposes, um, this technically happens when the screen opens up, but I don't wanna have to close and reopen every time in this video. So all I've done is just made a quick little screen up here. When I play it, I can hit that I wanna edit records. All right, and so we see that the disable save value has now currently been set to zero. All right, that's picture perfect. So now I'm gonna close out of the preview, and now I want this number to increment up by one anytime somebody clicks to delete a record. So to do this, I'm gonna come on into my form, and I'm gonna to go to my attachments data card. I'm gonna to go to that attachments data card value. So once I have it clicked, there is a property called the on remove file. So anytime somebody hits this X to remove the file, what do I want to happen? Well, in my case, I want my variable to increase by a value of one. So I'm gonna do another set command. I'm gonna call back on this variable. And then what I wanna do is I wanna take the current value of the variable, whatever that might be, and then I wanna add one to it. And that's going to increase my variable number by one. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna add into here, technically this part is not needed to make it work, but I want my users to know when they hit the X, I want them to know, hey, you are not allowed to delete attachments from this record. So give my user a notification that what you're doing, you're not gonna be able to save your record. So in order to do that, I can use the notify command. 
So I'm going to zoom on in here and I'm going to go semicolon and I'm going to say let's notify and then I'll just put in the text that I want to notify something like uh, you cannot save the record if you are removing and, and we'll scroll on over a little bit more an attachment all right so you cannot save the record if you're moving an attachment I'll put in a double quote here to close it off comma choose the way I want it to show in my banner I'm gonna go with the red banner so I'll choose error and then I always like for my notifications to time out so after three seconds this notification will already it'll just automatically disappear okay so now I have that part set up so let's see how this works so if I hit play and I go to one of these records and I'll get rid of this full bill attachment Notice we have two things. The disable save value number has increased by one and we're getting that notification up here at the top. All right, so now how do I utilize that? Well, that variable, I'm gonna have it control my save button. So I could do this on the visible property, but I prefer to do it on the display mode. And so currently the display mode is set to edit, which means if I click the button, it will execute whatever I have on the on select of the save button. However, I'm going to make this now dynamic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if, some logical conditioning here, and I'm gonna get my variable, so var disable save, if that number is equal to zero, which means everything is great in the world, we did not delete any attachments, then I want them to be able to click the actual save button. So it's display mode dot edit, that means it's clickable, comma, if it's not equal to zero, which means we have deleted or tried to delete a record which upped our variable count to one, two, or whatever, then I wanna make it display mode dot disabled. And then I'm just gonna close that off. And right now you can see my save button has now been disabled, which is great. So when we played the application, so here's a little bit of a problem though. If they hit undo here, Notice they still can't go back to the save record because the disable set value has still been currently set to one. So now we go to the next part of the process. So I'm gonna come back on over to my data card value on the attachments. And now on the, there's another property called on the undo of remove file. So when we hit that undo button, what do I want to happen? Well, on the undo, I need to reference the variable again. So my set var disable save and I need to take its current value, so var disable save, and now I need to subtract one from that value, just like so. So now if we test this all the way from the beginning here, I'll go back to screen main, I'll hit play, I'll click edit records, so my disable save value is set to zero, I'll click boom, let's get rid of it, can't hit save, I'll undo it, and now it goes back to zero and now I can hit save. And if I do it on two, and this is why I had to use a global variable to do this, not just the update context, because now if I do two, it increases it by two. So if I undo one, still can't save. If I undo the other, now I can hit save, and I can now attach more files to this record um, if I want to. But let's take a look at, uh, for this one, I had to try to uh, you know, mimic all the different ways somebody would interact with the app to make sure it was completely uh, foolproof, so to speak. And there was one thing that I almost overlooked, and let me show you that. So right now it's looking pretty good. We have the functionality set up, but watch what happens here. If I say, all right, I wanna get rid of full bill, and it says, oh, you can't do it, and then I go, you know what, actually, I didn't even want to do Jack Peterson's record. I was really supposed to be on Layla's record. So when I click Layla's record, Notice I haven't gotten rid of any files, but my disable save value is still currently set to one. So what I need to happen is after I move from one record to another, I need this value to reset because as I move from one record to another, if I go back to Jack Peterson, you can see it didn't keep those changes in effect still. So here's what I need to do. So I'm gonna close out of here, and now I'm gonna come on over to the gallery itself. So I'll select our gallery, and then I'm gonna to go to this property on the gallery called the on select property, which says anytime I select something in the gallery, what do I want to happen? Well, I want those variables to be set back to zero. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna say set, call on my variable, so var disable save, and I wanna reset it back down to zero. All right, so that's what I'm looking for here. So that's on the on select of the gallery. 
So now if I head back up to screen main, test this over from the beginning. So I'm gonna get rid of Jack Financial Assistance, says you can't do it, everything's good. I click on Layla, disable save value is set to zero, and now I can interact with the report. But one more little issue. So let's say I'm on Layla. I go X and I go, oh, you know what? Didn't mean to do that. Let me reset the form. Let me cancel record creation. Well, when I hit cancel, you notice that the undo is automatically done for us. It resets this, but my disabled save value is still set back to one. So this is the last little fix that we have to do to make sure everything is foolproof. So what I'm gonna do is on this cancel button for the on select after we reset the form, I need to do one more thing. I need to come back, set that variable, and I need to set it back to zero so now I can start to interact uh, with the records. So when I hit play now, and now I hit cancel, so even if I get rid of a few more records here, I hit cancel, boom, I'm back to save value of zero so I can save, I can attach, but again, if I click on any record that I want to get rid of things, it's not going to allow me to. So again, it would have been great if in Canvas apps there was just a control that, that you know, control that little X to say just don't even show it, but they don't have that in Canvas apps. So I had to do a little bit of thinking using global variables um, in order to do it, and it works. So again, I know this is a very specific situation, but hopefully if you're in the same situation I was in a few days ago and you're looking for that Microsoft documentation and you can't find anything on it or blogs, now you've got a video that can help you out. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel as well to keep up to date of all of our new videos that we post throughout the week. And with that being said, hopefully I'll see you in my next video.